What's going on, guitar players? So if you're in this space of exploring um, how to play Afrobeats, because it's kind of like the new wave. A lot of Afrobeat songs are coming on. Uh, they have R&B influence. Um, you're trying to figure out how can I play Afrobeat. So I want to give you some really simple chords. If you know how to use a capo, you can transfer these particular chords that I'm going to show you that I use in Open G um, that you can play in any other key to kind of have like R&B uh, kind of Afrobeats kind of vibes. So I'm going to show you the chords and then I'm going to play along with the track to kind of show you how they can place. So this chord, oh, which would be my, I'm thinking about it, I'm in G major, right? My six, my five, my four, and my three. Occasionally I may go to my two. So when I'm playing these, I'm trying to typically play like three notes in the chord. I got this concept, kind of like the three note chords um, idea from like Eric Johnson used to do some stuff. Um, I used to watch some of his videos way back in the day. So the sixth chord, I'm just playing an E, B, G. So instead of me playing the regular bar chord, I'm only playing three notes. I go to my D, instead of me playing like a rhythm, my five, I'm playing a D. My ring finger, I'm playing an A. With my pinky, I'm playing an F sharp slide down to my four position I'm playing a C F sharp D and all I'm going to do is slide my index finger down to B so I'm playing so my B and my C so I, technically my four and my three are like the same chord I'm just sliding my index finger down four three if I go to my two I'm just going to play an A uh, minor 11 but I'm setting me like putting my index finger I'm just letting it ring out so again my six E B G five which is going to be my D A F sharp my four is going to be C F sharp D F sharp D, so I'm just sliding my index finger down. Then my two will be just an A um, minor 11. So the rhythm, ding, 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 ding. So and I'm just playing those three notes. Super simple. I know it's probably going to be complicated right now, but if you work those chords, slow it down, and you can see you can apply it to Afro Beats music. So I have a Afro Beats loop. And we're going to play with that loop. One, two, three, four. If I have a capo, I can essentially play it in any other key. So if I'm playing it in G, I want to play it in A, right? Put my capo down. So the concept is the same. You can transfer these same chords and play them in any other key using a capo. There you got your Afrobeats vibe. There you go. Hi there, it's Carrie. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
There's so much great content on this channel that's really gonna help you unlock the fretboard and play the way that you've always wanted to play. So go ahead, click the subscription button and that notification bell over there. So that way you're always getting the awesome videos and the content that I drop at least once a week. Thank you so much for watching and keep on practicing. I'll see you soon.